How's it going guys? Curtis back again. Today I'm going to have a look at my 2016 Cannondale Jekyll. I'm going to show you how I turned this thing into an absolute climbing monster. So, pretty much start off with the bike. I got this a few years back. Ended up getting a $5,000 discount on it because it was second hand. Had a few rock chips and uh, pretty much it was a $9,000 bike. I got it for $4,000. So, haven't really done a video on this bike yet, so I'll sort of run through a few things. The, the first upgrade I've done was obviously the uh, the tyres. It had some Mavic tyres on it, which come with the rims. So I've done a aggressor on the back and a DHF on the front. So originally this bike would have had a lefty fork in it, but when I bought it, it had this uh, RockShox pike, which definitely is a lot better than the... the uh, than the lefty fork so pretty much when I got this bike I had the intention this thing was going to be an excellent climber because it had the rear lockout switch unique design for this bike and this dual chamber fox died rear shock so pretty much the gearing that come on this bike I've got it all here it had a 42 tooth SRAM cassette on it and the lens speed derailleur with uh, this 30 tooth chain ring which at the time I thought it would have been lots of lots of gears but going up steep climbs and whatnot it just wasn't quite enough for me so I ended up putting the XX1 drivetrain on it I got the chain and the cassette off my polygon which I put gold on that and uh, ended up just buying the derailleur and the uh, the GX shifter saved a bit of money there and uh, pretty much I put it on left the Cannondale chain ring on the front the 30 tooth and riding along it was making really bad sort of rough grinding noise and I thought it would have just been the gears, so I adjusted the crap out of those over and over again, and it still kept doing it. So, gut feeling, I need, knew I needed a new chain ring, and uh, I was looking at just a whole new SRAM crank set, but that was end up ended up going to be uh, pretty expensive, so I would have had to buy the new crank set, and it would have come with a 32 tooth chain ring, so I would have had to swap that out as well. So wasn't really an option so what I've done here is this is two separate parts I bought this camo wall tooth spider specifically for the Cannondale and then I got the chain ring for it and I actually got a 28 tooth front chain ring so really little in combination with the 50 cassette on the back and the clip in pedals and this thing will just monster up anything so ended up being really sweet thought it was going to be a cheap option I think that was about 120 maybe 140 bucks for that chain ring set up but I ended up needing a couple tools I needed the Cannondale specific if you can see it lock ring tool there and I did end up needing the crank arm remover tool I've gotten the crank arms off before just riding the bike around and the uh, the left crank just come flying off across a parking lot and I've pretty much done my shin in a fair bit so it is a lot better with the, the proper crank removal tool. So after I've done all that I thought it was going to be all sweet and then I found the brakes are actually the, the SRAM guide brakes were actually the faulty Gen 1 models so I've got them here I got a bit of dot fluid over them so I won't take them out but the uh, the levers here oh, can't really replicate it but pretty much they're just faulty they uh, the lever wouldn't even return and pretty much the uh, the brakes were just locked on so you'd press the brake 
this is only in the heat once it got about 20 degrees it wouldn't do it so pretty much in winter I could ride the bike summer I couldn't so I ended up just buying all new brake levers and uh, got the bike shop to bleed them and uh, it's all good so bike is running all smooth now I ended up going a Cannondale carbon bottle cage in here it's the camera will even focus so it looks really nice really handy makes the bike a bit more practical and uh, what else I've done is took this is the chain guide that come with the bike took it off saved a bit of weight the uh, narrow wide should be enough and uh, the last thing is I got a new headset for the bike so pretty much an issue I didn't like with the bike is when I would hit the front brake it would make a really really bad snapping noise so pretty much I went got a whole new headset this comes with a little adapter cup to change it from a lefty to a dual crown fork and that it came with um, a crown race as well so the headset was making real bad noise so what I've done took the top bearing out pressed the bottom one out cleaned all the grid up put the new bearings in and I thought that would be good but it was still making that really horrible snapping noise so what ended up doing is the crown race I could only assume it was that because that was the only component left so I actually got a razor blade on there, under there tapped the crown race out managed to do it without damaging the fork and I replaced the crown race with lots of grease under there and amazingly, no more creaks anymore. So, didn't actually know a crown race could creak, but it was all rusty underneath, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, the bike, after probably almost a thousand bucks spent on it, finally is working smooth, and uh, that's pretty much it. This is my sort of long travel climbing cross-country bike so so yeah just add a quick story in about the uh, the rock chip so I ended up getting uh, some touch-up paint which there's a little chip in there that I fixed up another one there so what I ended up doing is I got some Lamborghini Aventador green which is actually the color for the frame and pretty much Walked out of the auto shop with it and I was shaking it up. And I got it here. My good Whistler Billabong t shirt and shaking it without the finger on the lid and it just exploded. Went all over my dad's car, covered the, the car park in paint <laughs> and uh, destroyed my pair of pants as well. And uh, that was pretty much it for the. Uh, the rock chips, I spared a little bit of paint to do the frame which I touched it all up so that was all cool. Tell me what you think and uh, that's pretty much it. Peace out.